is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Gore, here we are. The Temple of Mara in Rifton. We've been through so much together. I think it's only right that we spend the rest of our lives together helping each other. Come on, let's go inside so I can prepare our wedding ceremony. Divine smile on you, friend. I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. You wish to be married? Yes. It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Thank you. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from good. dawn until dusk. All right. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. Of course not. Thank you. May you return to her benevolence and safety. All right, Gore. We are all set for tomorrow. I can't wait. So I'm gonna go and, uh, well, I guess first of all, is there anything special that you wanna do for the ceremony? Like wear fancy clothes and robes, anything like that? Okay, well, I'm, I'm good just wearing armor too. All right then, I will see you tomorrow. So it'll give you some chance to think about this and you know, if you change your mind, then, you know, I won't see you tomorrow. But if it's meant to be, then I'll see you at the altar. All right. Later. All right, Gore, tomorrow is our big day. But for now, let's do some adventuring. Come on. Riddleshin Pass, there's been reports of uh, bandits and whatnot, necromancers. There's no telling what's in here. Let's go. Oh, there is a necromancer here. Oh, get him. Salts, Soul Gem, Petty Gem. All right, that's good. What do we have here? Use Alter for what? You hear that? It sounds like somebody's singing. Come on. down. Might as well sell these things. 
Uh oh. Got back up. Wait, I'm hearing. I'm hearing bones creaking. someone in here. cage door has holes in it. You do realize that was a joke, don't you? I didn't expect my hero to like a sense of humor. <laughs> okay. So, you'll come out of the cage? Maybe. I'd grown quite fond of it. The iron bars, the pattern of squares, and... Well, I guess that's it. But I do like squares. Hmm. What's your name? My name is Zora Fairchild. Although it was never meant to be ironic. I was once very much a child and very much fair. So fair, in fact, that the divine saw it fit to punish me with a smart and unviable face. It's always easier to blame the gods for such things, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I uh, hardly noticed. I've always wanted to meet a handsome man with poor eyesight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was it the necromancer who marred your face? Oh no, necromancers tend to disapprove of having their specimens damaged. I should know. This is the eleventh necromancer who's enslaved me. What eleven? And all eleven have been as delicate as a lord is with his finest furs. It makes me so sad to disappoint him so. I think this last one was quite excited with his find until he brushed back my hair. <sighs> I've seen that look on more than enough men to recognize it. Eleven times, you can't be serious. Oh, I am. I do enjoy it. There is never a shortage of wizards who like to use this pass as their lair. Nor a shortage of heroes who travel through it. What sort of rescuer were you waiting for? Well, handsome, but not cute. Funny, but not mean. Tender, but not soft. Strong, but not violent. Caring, but not servile. I could go on and on. Yes, it seems like you've had a lot of time to think about this. So, for the love of the Divines, please don't. Are you sure? You sound like the sixth hero who saved me. Really? Aggressive, but impatiently so. That one had barely unlocked the cage before unloosening his belt. What? What? Alright, well. What sorts of folk pass through Brittleshin? Most come north to south, but there are those who come south from Riverwood. The necromancers lay a rune by the entrance to give them a warning. 
You can always tell the careful heroes from the impatient ones by the number of ice shirts sticking out of their armor. Uh -huh. You carry a large weapon for a girl your size. It's not just for show. Although the necromancers seem to think so. Nobody takes me seriously. Hmm. Huh, but when my weapon of choice was an amulet of Mara, then the boys were quite certain of my intentions. Even if that was just for show. Do you have a lot of experience with two-handed weapons? It took some time to get a hang of it. My body did pay quite a price for my lessons. I have more scars than skin now, I'm afraid. Oh. Yet you'll find I'm a capable fighter. And if it's adventure you seek, my lord, I am but your humble servant. The fury to your Holger, the Edwer to your Barenzaya, the house girl to your Jarl. Oh, I already have one of those. Then you're an actual lord, or a thane, as it were. <laughs> here I was half mocking you here, when instead I only mock myself. Huh. Where were you headed when you were captured? I was on my way north to the icy tundra. It's quite vast, quite icy, and extremely dull. Which is precisely why I visited it. Some people look at a blank portrait and see only emptiness. I see an opportunity to paint. What do you mean? Imagine a vast field of pure white, soft as a pillow wrapped in a cloud. From a distance, you might think it's snow. Yet, when you come to the lip of its feathery shore and run your fingers through crowns of ivory, you'll know you have arrived in white run. Home of Tamriel's most beautiful and profitable Tundra Cotton Field. Zora's Field, as it's known to the locals. Hmm. Well, are you sure it can survive in such a climate? I certainly hope so. It is called Tundra Cotton. Otherwise, they should have changed the name. <laughs> you have a point. All right, well, let's get you out of here. Follow me. You have my steel. Dark mages make this place their home. Mm. In that sense, it's appropriately decorated. All right, there's uh, something going on up here. Zora, Gore, Zora, Zora, Gore. Let's go. So was that it? Ready. Listen out, do you hear any more bones creaking? Oh, could have hit me on the head. Go. Uh oh. Trap. Is that it? Looks like it's clear. Come on. Hey, Wizard. 
good place for exercise. Lots of bandits, lots of mages, and lots of death. Look what the tide brought in. What do you mean? Look what the tide brought in. Yes? All right. All right. Well, let's get to Riverwood. And is that the diamond of Riverwood behind you? Good to see you too, Gar. The sleeping chanting is not the same without you there to wake it up. <laughs> Maybe. But I bet Orknar enjoys the peace and quiet. Of course, with all three of us gone, I imagine that place ain't much different from a morgue. <laughs> so you two know each other. Well, mostly it's just you. You're about as hardy as a dozen men. <laughs> I reckon I am. But if the stew is bubbling and the drink is flowing, there ain't much point being anything less. See, Riverwood is far more lively with you around. Everyone still asks about you, even people from out of town. <laughs> All good things. I hope. Of course. I thought this one Kajit wouldn't call you by name. He kept calling you... Uh, oh, I forget. It was something furry. Mm, help me out, my hero. What is brown and furry and works in all fours? Uh, I don't know a saber cat. Furry, I'd say a brown bear. I do see the resemblance to Gore. <laughs> I do as well. But it was not such a large animal. It was a type of dog, but I can't recall what. Well, it, it must be a wolf then. I know back in the arena, I started out as a pit dog. But I haven't been one of those for ages. That's it. He kept calling you a pit dog. Which doesn't make much sense. You think you're a horker? <laughs> if I was a horker, I reckon that would make me a cannibal. But I wouldn't mind meeting this stranger and seeing if maybe a warhammer to the chest can't change his opinion. Um, do either of you have an idea of where you might be? As a matter of fact, I think I do. Sounds to me this is the same lowlife who's been spreading lies about me in the rift. Oh, finally. Now we're back to that. I'm pretty sure it's connected to this underground arena I've been hearing about. They wanted me to join, being a former gladiator and all. But I passed on their offer, as it seemed a little fishy at the time. That's when I started hearing all these rumors. Hmm. Why do you think it was a setup? Wouldn't they want a the famous gladiator to be a part of the arena? At first, maybe. Just to bring in the crowds. But I ain't exactly what you call an entertaining fighter. Oh, really? Most of my fights end pretty quick. And I don't play to the crowd. Oh, I see. The only thing I got is my name and my record. And all my time in the Imperial City, I ain't never lost a fight. So, if I lose in this arena, it'll give them something the folks in Cyrodiil ain't never seen. My death. The only question now is where to find these people and wash my name out of their mouths. Well, the person
person I talked to was headed towards Whiterun. I thought about following him as he was very suspicious, but then Yaramir came yelling up behind him asking if he wanted his robes washed. <laughs> then we ought to head to the Bannered Mare. You should lead the way, lest my stomach take us to Lake Yogrim. <laughs> All right. And the bannered mare it is. Let's go. So, princess, you still using those big, clumsy two-handed weapons? I am, when my hero allows it. <laughs> Good for you. All right, here it is. The bannered mare, come on. Take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Greetings. Greetings. All right, there's somebody Welcome, suspicious. Welcome, It's here always nice corner. to see a friendly face at the mayor. And a Khajiit. Yes. Yes. Hello there, stranger. What can Jashar do for you? Jashar, don't tell me you're the fiend who's been spreading these lies. Um, Gore. where's Gore? So you are in Skyrim after all. Jashar would ask you to sit down, but hmm? there is not enough room for one of your size. Not to mention yes. it would be rude to your lady friend. You didn't answer Welcome, my Trevor. question. It's for always nice all. to see a friendly face at the What's mayor. What's all this business Shh. about you being a pit dog? Hmm? Uh, what wait. can I do for you? You misunderstand, Jasha. Greetings. It is a term of endearment. We started out as pit dogs, mm. and it is a reminder of how far we have come. <laughs> Why are I you upstairs? I didn't understand half of what you were saying. Leave it to me to overreact. What brings you to Skyrim? It's I'm going to take a wild here. guess and say it ain't the Horkers. Is that why you're here? By the moons, you never change. Jashar assumed you were here for the same reason as he, for this new underground arena. <laughs> Don't tell me. You left the Imperial City to fight in some basement. There won't be half the coin or glory fighting in this arena, friend. It is not Jashar's choice. He ran into much trouble with the Blademaster. There were accusations of gambling, bribery, and throwing fights. You know Jashar to be a cat of integrity. But this Blade Master had an agenda. In any case, this new arena, they are willing to look past Jashar's previous transgressions. It is fledgling, but it has promise. It just needs more fighters like yourself to join the ranks. Sorry, old friend. My arena days are over, and from the sound of it, this ain't much of an arena, so much as it is a pit fight. You might do Besides, well to learn a smaller I don't weapon. like it. Vary your style. Something it. seems fishy Tiny about blades don't You've been a good friend to me. That means something. For you, uh, given you know all the angles. All I but not me. Well, that is a bit that way. But Jashar knows better than to argue with you. Perhaps, though, you will do him a favor watch his first match. Jashar is a stranger in these lands, and he will be more Drink comfortable if he knows he is amongst friends. I for one would love to come. Just An underground arena match? That sounds exciting, my heroes. We'll drive out well, <laughs> I suppose there ain't no harm in just watching. 
Besides, it's been a long time since I've seen an arena match that didn't end in one swing. Killer of kings. <laughs> always did like to break his times. That is why he is a crowd favorite. So, if it finds you, he will mark the location of his next fight on the map. It changes from week to week, you see. They say the fights are held in cages, in barracks, on islands, and in cellars. As crowds are big, it is dependent on a handful of sponsors. Soon, as the coin flows and the crowds grow, there will be enough to build an arena to rival Cyrodiil's. But for Cheshire, this will have to do. Then it's settled. The three of us will come to cheer you on. <laughs> All right. I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Wait, who do I need to talk to? No. All right, you two, come I on. I had a bad time a few years back, and I turned to drink. But Vignar, he wouldn't let me stay weak. Listen, Gore, it's getting late, and our wedding is tomorrow. Why don't we table this until after the wedding, luck was a kind and then we'll do the, uh, the pit the dog fight? I'd be honored to uh, accompany you. All right, let's go then. All right, here we are. Here I am, anyway. About to go in here and get married. I never thought I'd see the day. No, oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? <laughs> no. Okay. Here goes everything. I wonder if Gore is even here. Ah, here's the proud groom now. He is Let's here. Begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learned that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? I do, now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever. I do, now and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. All right, uh, that was fun. Thank you, Mara Mal. What's next? Some adventure? Or should we find a place to live first? Well, certainly some adventure. But um, living with you would be perfect. <laughs> Except I don't have a home. <laughs> but we'll make do. And if one of us gets lost, we'll find each other again. It being kismet and all. Well, hopefully. Neither of us will get lost. Go on. <laughs> Good to see you, friend. All right, I need you to follow me. Let's go. Oh, thank you all for coming to our wedding. 
We really appreciate it. Gore. What do you need? I'd like us to move somewhere else. <laughs> You're as fickle as my stomach. Where should we move to? Well, let's go to your old place. And uh, you can pick up the rest of your things. <laughs> Except I don't have a home. But we'll make do. And if one of us gets lost, we'll find each other again. It being kismet and all. Yes, kismet. All right, then. All right, well, let's go. How can I help you? Hi, Jade. Are you following me? I'm hoping so. Come on. Alright, let's go and get your things at the, uh, the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. Alright, here we are. Oh. <laughs> you again? I thought we got rid of you. And here you are. Heroes always wandering around, easy to find. Look, this, this is our wedding day. I, I need you to leave us alone. Come on, Gore. Yes? Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone All right, there. I will wait for you to uh, pack up the rest of your things. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Mm-hmm. All right, Gore, you ready? Let's head on to Elysium Estates. I don't know why we got into this, uh, disagreement on where we were going to live. But we can stay there for the time being if you feel we need to get our own place. We can probably look into that as well. Come on. Let's go. We start a new chapter of our lives. 